Hello, so today is day 12. Can you believe it? Day 12. I can't believe it. It's just going on and on and on. And I keep thinking about when do I get to go back to work? When do I get to go back to work? Well, first I got to see out of the eye. Um, and But I have good news. The good news is I am starting to see a visual change meaning the fogginess is starting to clear up a little bit, which is really, really cool. I'm really positive. I'm feeling positive about that. It, I mean, it is such a great feeling to start to see the worth of the, of the surgery itself. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and, and, and that just, lets me know I'm one step closer to getting back to work, getting back to, you know, riding my bicycle, doing exercise and things like that. And um, being able to like, look at my phone and check my messages longer than, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Um, but I'm doing my best. I'm trying to um, stay creative as much as I can. And part of that is making a video like this, whereas then I just sit in front and I tell you what's going on and how I feel today. So on a scale of one to 10, I would say I feel like a seven. I feel pretty good. Um, and it is a nice feeling. I will still, I have to be honest with you, the best way to describe how I see things is foggy, jiggly mess. And yes, jiggly, because of the top of my vision in my right eye, I see the nitrous oxide jiggling in the little bubble. And that reminds me that <laughs> it's still the hair and so very important. And, um, and the reason why I still have to wear this wristband because dangerous gas, which I have to be very, very careful. So one of the things is to protect my eye when I'm outside wearing, wearing sunglasses. Um, I still get a little nervous about going to bed at night. I have a, what you call like, um, <laughs> a pirate's eye patch that I put on just to, it has like a hard kind of feel about it to protect me in case I happen to have my eye near my finger for example in the middle of the night I don't want to do anything crazy um what else Another thing that I still have to be mindful of is I cannot I cannot sleep on my back I cannot sleep on my back I can sleep on my side I can sleep on my stomach but I cannot, cannot sleep on my back yet. So I'm always thinking about that when I go to sleep. Another one is I have to watch what I lift. Nothing over 10 pounds, nothing, nothing, nothing over 10 pounds do I push, pull, or lift. And I'm constantly, constantly being reminded of that. Don't touch that, don't lift that. So. I, I appreciate all those watching after me during this time. So um, with those in mind, um, as long as I, you know, keep walking that straight and narrow, I'm going to get there to the promised land of, you know, being free and finally just being able to work, being able to uh, drive where I want to drive, even ride my bicycle for that matter, being able to lift weights again. I'm so looking forward to that because I was, you know, slacking off a bit, but I am super, super excited. Again, it's, an, I'm giving it a number seven uh, for today, how I feel. Didn't really have a headache today. I didn't really go anywhere today, like a long drive or anything. And the past two days um, is the first time I have been outside of my house since the surgery. Anywhere. I mean, literally anywhere except for the doctor's office. So I had a bit of cabin fever and um, this is about to end and I will be going back to my house.
<laughs> um, but I will be continuing to send you videos to let you know how I'm doing. I appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in a the comment section. Be sure to share this with anyone else that you think might get something out of it. You are awesome. There is so much you have to give to others. Uh, there's so much you have yet to do. Don't give up. Life is short. And if there's a little wrinkle in the world, and if there's a little wrinkle that happens during your journey, just know that there's a lesson to be learned. And when I find out the lesson for this one, I will be sure to share it with you because I'm still working on it. So thank you for tuning in. See you again soon. Love and light.